Single player games have been around way before multiplayer games. Of course, multiplayer games are more popular now, but single player games are still really popular, especially in recent years with the release of Witcher 3 and Red Dead 2. In my opinion, it's not that single player games are dying, it's because multiplayer games have just gotten more popular. Before multiplayer games existed, there wasn't any competition, so it made it seem like they're dead now. Single players are more popular now than ever, so it's not that single player games are dying, it's because multiplayer games over shadow the growth of single player games. Playing two to three multiplayer matches in a multiplayer game with friends sounds more manageable than trying to finish a 50 hour single player game to most people. With the attention span of kids getting shorter and shorter, it's way more tempting to download a game and finish the match with friends than to grind every day on your own. Also, single player games usually cost money because it isn't as dependent on in-game purchases. This makes it less accessible than multiplayer games. This doesn't mean that single player games are dying. It just means that multiplayer games have a wider reach of players. Think of how many kids would play a game that isn't free. Lastly, single player games like The Witcher 3 have such a good story and is a massive success because of its good storytelling. But why is Fortnite, which is considered by most a mediocre game at best, more popular than it? Basically because of trends. While multiplayer games spike up and down because if your friend stops playing, you will probably stop playing the same game. Single player games have a more consistent player base. That's why Skyrim and Red Dead are still as popular as three or four years ago. You play for let's say two months and finish the game. With multiplayer games, you might play because of a new update or only when your friends are on. So it's more inconsistent. In conclusion, this is the comparison between two very different games and both have very different players. One is more consistent while the other is more trendy. Gaming has grown exponentially since the 90s and the 2000s and it's great to see both genres succeed. The past decade had the best games ever made on single player and multiplayer games like GTA, Red Dead, League, etc. It's great to see that even single player games from a decade ago like Skyrim and Dark Souls are still being played so much. It's great that those players experienced something great everyone experienced 10 years ago. Multiplayer games just can't maintain that experience that single player games provide. Do you like gaming news, tips, and other videos like this? Subscribe for more. I post at least once a week, and thanks for watching.